Now that we've examined the brewing process, it's time to turn our attention to the next stage of beer making, fermentation. Although there are dozens of different styles of beers, they can all be assigned to one of two main branches of the family tree, ales or lagers. The difference lies in the yeast. Ales are made with a top fermenting strain that works relatively quickly, producing bold, fruity flavors. Lagers use a less assertive bottom fermenting yeast that requires more time at a lower temperature, making crisp, easy drinking beers. At Boulevard, we make mostly ales, so we'll look at fermentation from their point of view. Fermentation takes place in these large, pressure-rated stainless steel tanks. These fermenters are double-walled with cooling jackets sandwiched in between, enabling us to control the temperature of the contents. As the cooled wort is transferred from the brew house to the cellar, we pitch into the fermenter just the right amount of healthy, vigorous yeast cells. The yeast immediately goes to work consuming oxygen in the wort, reproducing feverishly in the process. Once the oxygen is gone, true anaerobic fermentation begins. The yeast feeds on the sugars in the wort, converting them to carbon dioxide, alcohol, and flavor compounds. After the sugar content has fallen to its final desired level, we turn on the cooling jackets and drop the temperature to just above freezing. Fermentation stops, the yeast settles into the conical bottom of the tank, and the beer is allowed to condition for another seven to 10 days. Conditioning helps to create a well-rounded beer with a balanced, complex depth of flavor. Now it's time to remove any remaining solids from the fermented beer. While some breweries filter at a microscopic level to produce perfectly clear beer and to pull out any bacteria that might be present, this can strip out much of the flavor. Here at Boulevard, instead of sterile filtration or pasteurization, we clean early and often to make sure that nothing gets into the beer in the first place that we have to worry about getting out later. Filtration starts with a centrifuge. This oversized bowl, spinning at 70 revolutions per second, ejects the heavier particles. For many of our beers, that's the extent of filtration, leaving them with a lovely, hazy appearance. Other beers are then passed through this sheet filter for further clarification, bringing out their brilliant color without compromising their flavor. After filtration, the beer is transferred into these bright beer tanks, where it's held for a short while before packaging into kegs or bottles. But that's a story for another stop.